Hey guys, it's Sam. I thought I would vlog this week. Today is Monday, November 25th, and I'm going to vlog through Thanksgiving. And so I don't have work today. I took off work. Um, my grandmother had some recent health issues that need to be taken care of, and I really wanted to be there to see uh at her doctor's appointment because she was seeing her primary just to make sure everything's on track and then i'll be at work tuesday wednesday and then i'm off thanksgiving day thursday and then friday as well so i thought it'd be kind of fun to uh film here and there and then um i already did i finished my uh thanksgiving food shopping i started shopping for it about a month ago just because i can't go when it's mobbed and i did go this weekend but it was really late at night just to get the last minute stuff but i got the canned stuff and things that can stay out that don't need to be refrigerated refrigerated a long time ago and then when i went this saturday night uh i just had to get the turkey and all the veggies because the those things can't last for weeks in the uh without being in the fridge and the turkey is actually at steve's mom's house because we have no room we have a very tiny fridge and he's gonna pick it up tomorrow and it'll defrost um not in the fridge because it's a pretty big bird and it's probably gonna take a long time for it to defrost and we're gonna do a lot of the prepping tomorrow and wednesday because there's a ton of stuff that can be made ahead of time and my coworker is so funny. She does everything the day of. And I'm just like, no. We do a lot of the chopping. And um, just things that can be made ahead of time. We'll make it ahead of time. And so Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, sorry. Thursday for Thanksgiving. We just really have to worry about the turkey. And then warming stuff up. And of course the gravy. You have to do it the day of. Because we use the turkey drippings. Uh, but right now I am. It's about 1 o'clock. The physical therapist is supposed to come see my grandmother. She she had suffered a tia or some people i guess call it a mini stroke or a small stroke and recently and she went to the hospital um and she seems really great for having gone through that but we just want to um the, we're very happy that all these people are able to come and see her I ended that clip abruptly because the physical therapist is on her way and I'm going to tape the shows for my grandmother since I'm home and she, I'll play it for her uh, after the physical therapist leaves. She watches CBS soap opera, so The Young and the Restless and then The Bold and the Beautiful. Ooh, she's been watching those shows for about 30 years and I hate those so much. I leave the room when it's on. Um, yeah, so... As I was saying about my grandmother, she's getting, uh, she had a social worker visit, a couple of nursing visits, physical therapy. Uh, we're going to start to do Meals on Wheels just because she needs to have a really low sodium, low cholesterol diet, which is what they do there. And um, we'll see. She's hesitant about it, but she's going to be 88 this year and she's doing fantastic for her age and she looks great for her age um but that was a pretty scary experience because i came home and i saw it happen so um yeah it's she's getting the help that she needs right now and so i'm gonna while she's doing her physical therapy i'm gonna be around and i'm gonna check my mail i have a pile of mail to look through and maybe get dinner started early i don't know so i don't have to do it later and oh i'm gonna do laundry too so Lots of things going on for a day off, but we were at the doctor's. They saw us really quickly, which was so nice. We got there like 945, and then we didn't have to wait that long. Usually we have to wait like an hour or more, uh, but we waited about 10 minutes, and she saw us, and then we were out of there uh, maybe 45 minutes or so, and then I went to just get a last couple of things uh, for Thanksgiving. I thought I was done, but I needed big foil, and I got a bunch of other little things that we probably didn't need and um because I'm not going shopping once Tuesday or Wednesday that's for sure and where else did I go oh I went to Walgreens to pick up a prescription for myself and then my grandmother needed something so yeah kind of busy uh but good it's good I'm not complaining about having off it's it's really great <laughs> and oh yeah so I go on the to get to work, I take the Gowanus. Uh, and apparently my sister was telling me a garbage truck overturned. All the garbage was everywhere. So thank goodness I chose today to go to the doctors. <laughs> 
and I totally forgot that I was filming. I already have tomorrow's dinner uh, defrosting. It's going to be hamburgers. My sister doesn't like hamburgers, so I have a steak pulled out for her. And then I'm trying this Korean tea drink. It's grapefruit honey tea, and I've had it for so long that I'm like, let me just try it. If it's terrible, I just won't. I just won't have it. And then, this is for my grandmother. I served her her dinner. It's chicken thighs and kind of this vegetable uh, thing that I made. I'll show you guys. And then I gave her a tiny piece of carrot cake because, I don't know, she's not supposed to have any sweets, but we have it and it's a very tiny piece and I don't want her to feel like she can't have any sweets ever again but a little bit i think is okay so i'm gonna put some milk in here and bring that to her and then i'll show you our dinner here is tonight's dinner it is this honey honey butter garlic chicken but i didn't dry the chicken enough so it didn't get brown which i'm pretty disappointed but the sauce is good it's garlic and honey and vinegar and this is uh boneless skinless uh, chicken thighs, which, you know, chicken thighs are so good because it used to have the bone in there. Um, and then here is, and it's dark meat. So, uh, here is, uh, the vegetable medley or vegetable thing that I made up. It's squash and zucchini and eggplant. Uh, the eggplant really needed to be cooked. So I used it in here and there's onions and garlic and it came out pretty good. So I'm happy about that. Uh, no carb for today. If people want something, we have like, um, minute rice and they could bake a potato or something like that in the microwave so yeah that's dinner and i'm gonna i saved the bones so i deboned it myself some of the chicken thighs have bones in them um uh, and i cooked it anyway and i'm gonna use the leftover meat for ava and ava's my dog so yep i just decided to make these baked brie bites with cranberry sauce and the recipe calls for these which, you know what, I'll show you because I still have the box. So I got these at Wegmans, but I'm sure, um, I think a lot of super major supermarkets carry this. So this is mini phyllo pastry shells. And so I filled it with some brie cheese, this kind right here. Oh, nope. The president brie, which is pretty good. And then you put cranberry sauce. This is... Sorry, it's upside down. Uh, the whole berry cranberry sauce by Ocean Spray. And then I decided to um, only put the pistachio shells, uh, pistachio nuts on half of them. And then these two are plain. But I don't know if you could tell that cheese in there is really ooey gooey melty. If you've never tried brie and cranberry, you have to do it. It's just really, really good. Um, another recipe that's pretty good is wrapping around uh brie cheese with puff pastry and then putting that in the oven and cutting it and serving it with some type of um uh, it could be cranberry jam or cranberry sauce or fig sauce or fig jam it's so good you have to try it but that's a little snack that i made Elsa. What are you coloring there? A kitty cat. Oh, you're doing such a nice job. I want a kitty cat. That is a super cute cat. And pink because it's a super kitty. It's a super kitty? I love that. Super kitty! <laughs> Hey everybody, I hope you got from the earlier clip that today is Tuesday, November 27th. I am home, specifically in my basement, and I was doing laundry, and I was trying to talk to you while the laundry was running, and I'm like, this is a silly idea. I'm talking for about two, three minutes, and I'm like, no, this is a terrible, terrible idea. So I am. I decided to start over, and I thought this was perfect anyway because I could show you my new oven. Here is the new oven. It is an LG, and it's beautiful so there's four burners and then you have this middle grill pan thing and then the bake i mean the oven option there's so many things you can do on this thing so that's really cool and backstory we have a very old kitchen if you saw my house tour it's super old and there's a wall oven 
that wall oven we moved in in august of last year that wall oven decided to break in april and i was like you know what we're not sure what we're doing with the kitchen yet i don't want to um buy a new oven and uh, that was fine for us i was using the toaster oven i was making meals it was okay but since the holidays were coming up, we, and I can't fit a turkey in the toaster oven. It did fit in the wall oven, but that broke and the toaster oven is not going to fit a 20 pound turkey. So we really needed to, um, get a new oven and we had the space down here. They had a space for an oven downstairs. So we did that and eventually we will remodel the kitchen upstairs and we have a stove to put in there. So we don't have to buy a stove. We got it at Best Buy and... Yeah, I just love it. We got the stainless steel because that's what we're planning to have. The color appliances up. That's what we're going to... So the fridge and other microwave and things like that. That's going to be stainless steel. So we test, decided to get that. Um, just absolutely love it. And the inside. I have to get used to it. I'm getting more used to it. I think this is leaning blue. But I feel like it's... No, I guess it's a navy blue. And there's a ton of racks in there and just i love it i've used it several times already it's annoying to go up and down but i'm so glad to have this and it'll be i tested it out it's ready for turkey day and then for christmas christmas eve and christmas if we need it we will have it and we have the extra burners um down here we do the stove still works upstairs so i can do most of the cooking up there i thought i would take just a minute down here it's the first time that I'm kind of sitting down just to relax a little bit. It's been kind of go, go, go since I've gotten home. My grandmother, I came inside and my grandmother, her speech therapist was here. And I just think the speech therapist was doing an amazing, amazing job. She was doing uh, muscle memory and just trying to get her to really get those connections in her brain going, which... Um, it's really good for her. So I'm really happy about that. And these are things that I can do with her after the sessions are over, which is nice. So she's done that. I don't know. She's, I think she's upstairs just reading something or doing something upstairs. And right now I am, um, like I said, I was doing laundry and today was a great day. It was beautiful weather. The kids are great. And I'm so glad that, um, I was able to come home, park in the front, which is always nice. I know I don't own the spot in the front, but I like to park in the front of the house when it's possible. And then Steve can park in the driveway. He has a longer day than me, so I like that. So it is a win. Traffic was terrible. It usually is. And I'm sure I sound like a broken record. It was terrible. And it only gets worse during the holiday, so it's okay. Christmas music. That actually keeps me a little bit calm, which I know sounds kind of funny, but I think it's just... It's, it reminds me of the holidays and feeling festive, so that's always good. And I'm sorry there's not a ton of footage from this morning. I mean, from today. I, I'm i very limited in what I could film and timing-wise. I want to do more Day in the Life. I just have to figure out a way to do it without doing it at inappropriate times and you never want to show you know children's faces and things like that so I hope you guys understand that I will try to film more and um right now I'm going to so the laundry's going I showed you my oven I'm going to start cooking dinner it's hamburger so it's kind of easy and I want to try to make my grandmother's oh that's another thing so this is related to dinner sort of she, my grandmother is going to start Meals on Wheels, and it's just, I think it's just a win-win all around. One, it takes a little bit of weight off me trying to think of nutritional things that she can eat. She's a diabetic, she has hypertension, so she needs low sodium, low cholesterol, and just things that are nutritious, but but things that she's going to eat. So I'm hoping Meals on Wheels, she likes it. We're going to try it out. If she doesn't, then we'll cancel it. And we'll go back to um, what we were doing. But I will try not to add salt and try to give her more veggies and less carbs. We do eat a lot of carbs in this house. And she does like her breads and sweets. So we really try to cut that down a lot. Like today, I'm going to make a hamburger, but I'm not going to give her a bun and add like lettuce and onions and just things that make it tasty without um, 
adding more salt and carbs to her meals. Uh, but we're going to start that on Monday, like I said, and they take into account her, con her health conditions and they deliver it and she'll have, the thing with her is she'll look in the fridge and she won't want to cook anything or won't want to put anything together. But in this way, she doesn't have to think about it. It's going to be there for her. Uh, the only thing they don't provide, obviously, is breakfast. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to say obviously, but it's they're just going to give her lunch and dinner. I don't think I don't believe they do breakfast. But that's simple. She could do cereal or granola or yogurt. And that's she's been OK with breakfast. Um, and I am just crossing my fingers that she ends up liking it because it would be really nice and, um, I think a good thing for her. I ho I'm hoping the meals are good. And now I'm going to cook our dinner. Normally on most days I do not, uh, run a restaurant, but tonight it seems like I'm, order I'm cooking for everybody separately. So my grandmother, I just gave her the patty and some veggies without any bread because and no added salt really and then here my sister she doesn't like hamburgers so I pulled out a steak for her and there's some mushrooms and potatoes that I made and then Steve I would have cooked it when he came home but I'm feeling really tired and I still have a few things to do so I want to uh, get th this done and then I didn't cook it all the way just in case he wants to put it back on the stove and make it a little bit hotter but he eats things cold and then here are some sides so there's potatoes bacon egg and mushroom and onions and then just lettuce tomato jalapenos cheeses and bread Currently, I'm watching Nail Korea Education. I love her, Susie. She's the best. She makes it look so easy, even though I know doing nails professionally like this is very hard. And then I'm also going to return these slippers to QVC because they just are a little too tight. It's a medium size 7 to 8, and I'm a 7.5, but they're just too snug on my feet, and I can't slip them on and off easily. So I'm going to look for, I think I'm going to get the ones at Costco. So that's why I have Costco open. And that's what I'm doing right now. Hey, it is way past my bedtime. I should be in bed, but I wanted to say goodnight for the day. And I just, I, just, I got a late start to everything. Everything just seemed to take forever. And I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I was doing laundry, cooking, putting things in the dryer, uh, sorting through mail, doing my stuff about my with my grandmother. And just a lot of things going on i got most of the stuff that i wanted to get done but it just felt like i didn't achieve everything so i'm gonna try to do some more things tomorrow during the day but then when i come home i really want to do prep work for thanksgiving like the i i mentioned this already so i won't mention it again but just a lot of prep work that i want to do and i wanted to mention i don't think i've ever made an announcement on my channel about this maybe i've said it offhand i am adopted and this month and this year will be well it had already passed um it is my 30 years of being in this country it's been 30 years since i've come to this country i i um was talking to my co-worker of all things about it i don't know how we stumbled upon it but i was talking about being adopted and we were doing the math and she was like so it's your anniversary and i'm like what and it's been 30 years since i've come to this country i came here November 22nd 1989 and for some reason I don't know if it's because it's such a big number but I'm feeling really I don't want to say sentimental about it but like just I've been thinking a lot about it and it's I went through it's been on my mind uh since we've we've talked about it earlier today like just I went home and I looked through paperwork and photos and yeah I found the date I always knew it was November I just forgot the date and it's not something that I've ever celebrated every year but since it's the 30 it just seems like kind of a big deal to me and I am just thinking about my family and just being here and yeah, just a lot going through my mind, but I wanted to mention it, and with that, 
I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, so today is Wednesday, November 27th. My days are all getting mixed up. I think yesterday I said it was 27th. It's just been that kind of week. And right now I'm just prepping a whole bunch of stuff for tomorrow. My grandmother helped me, the turkey's defrosting. And today was a crazy day, which I'll get into more later. I'm just so busy right now, but I did want to check in and just say hi. It's about 8.30 and I want to show you my checklist. So we did the rutabaga. The desserts are almost done. I'm making two. One is already made, the pecan pie bites. And then the other is in the oven as we speak. It's a pumpkin layer cheesecake. Did the carrot string bean casserole, but that needs to be, I need to add something on top of it and then put it in the oven. So that I put down below here, finished string bean casserole for tomorrow. And then we made the mashed potatoes and I'll add heavy cream and make it super creamy and we like raw garlic garlic so i'm gonna do the garlic tomorrow then here's the stuffing we do put ours into the bird and we add sausage onion celery bunch of spices and the bread that's cut up in cubes already made and then i refilled the oil and salt just so we have that available tomorrow if we need it and then just a bunch of like um things about setting the table and um washing the turkey pan which is right in front of me and then here's tomorrow's list like obviously i'm not gonna make the crescent rolls tonight i'll do that tomorrow and then the appetizers and i'll set the table tomorrow as well so yeah that's what i've been up to also every year i make this tv holiday guide or tv guide for holiday and just lists all of the movies and holiday related shows and movies and things like that and it goes until i believe January 2nd so love, love, love to have this even though I don't watch every single thing on here but it's nice to know what holiday related stuff is going to come on for the next month it is past midnight and I am done for today I crossed off everything off my to-do list which is the best feeling ever and I did as much as I could do today um without actually having Thanksgiving dinner so that's really really a great feeling the last thing i did was take the pumpkin layer cheesecake out of the oven because the directions were to leave it in for 15 minutes 50 minutes shut it off and then let it cool down for two hours and i did do it in the water bath which i believe is a must i think that just helps it cook evenly and also i think by leaving the oven door closed it doesn't crack on the top sometimes cheesecakes tend to crack in the middle and that has happened to me a lot but i didn't do the water bath or leave it in the oven for the probably the right amount of time so i'm so glad it didn't crack and then um i just feel like today was non-stop go 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 as soon as i got out of bed and i prefer it to be kind of like a crazy mess the day before and so tomorrow it's kind of more relaxed we just have to really put everything together and that's going to be a nice feeling i still have to get up early for me tomorrow but we are going to eat later so it's not too too early which is nice my grandmother she's helping me with the turkey and she <laughs> she says she's going to get up at the time that we agreed upon but she's probably going to get up two hours before that that's just how she is and then um the crazy thing that happened this morning was so i parked in front of the school which is not technically legal but <laughs> me and my other co-worker do it just because it's easier to than to find a spot in brooklyn and this when i parked the car this morning some guy was like don't park there the street needs the street needs to be cleaned and uh, not that he was trying to fight with me but i'm like looking around and all these people are parked there but he chooses to talk to me which i know i shouldn't view things like that but i just felt kind of attacked and so i went inside and then an hour later i got a ticket and as soon as i come outside to move the car which was pointless by that point anyway he was the first he was still out out, out there and the first thing he said to me was oh it wasn't me i didn't call to complain and i'm like okay i'm the only one with a ticket you basically told me not to park there. I did anyway, and I'm not wrong. I'm not right in the situation, but I was just like, really, the day before Thanksgiving, and just I just I was the only one that got a t 
parking ticket. So that kind of bothered me a little bit. I deserve it. I should not park there anymore, I guess. But anyway, this day is over. Prep work is done. I just wanted to say goodnight, and I will see you tomorrow for Turkey Day. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. As you can see, time of putting turkey in the oven happened. Super excited about that. Of course, my grandmother reneged on our deal about what time to get up in the morning. And I got, I got up to move the car in the front because somebody, a, a car that was parked there yesterday, I had moved. And she was already up and washing the turkey, which I told her you're not really supposed to do anymore. But she did it anyway. And yeah, we're... Our Thanksgiving uh turkey is in the oven she's a big lady i wanted to show you sort of my prep plan that i have for today and what we did yesterday to make things flow a little bit easier here are the desserts um well that's leftover cheese uh carrot cake that was for steve's birthday and look it cracked a little bit but that was when i was touching it so that's kind of a bummer and that's so that's the pumpkin cheesecake and then here are the pecan pie bites and then over there is the tablecloth and the cloth napkins and then if we come this way all of the dishes that we are planning to use and then just some extra things that are going to be used much later on. And then in the refrigerator. And so we have a super, super tiny fridge. So what I did was to save on space was to put everything into uh, storage bags. And I know this is a lot of plastic. We are after we use up all of these because we have the ones from costco that last forever we are going to get reusable ones and then we won't be using these anymore um so i put a lot of the, like the mashed potatoes carrots the rutabaga the stuffing they all went into uh plastic bags and then i put some drinks in here that we're gonna have we're gonna have a cranberry champagne so there's cranberry juice and the champagne which is freezing i if i didn't have the space i would not have put it in there but i managed to make some space and then there's the string bean casserole that's already in the baking dish now i would have used another plastic bag if i couldn't fit that in there so but it fit in there thank goodness and oh i opened up um well that's okay i opened up another one downstairs for the turkey uh, because we didn't want the bottom to burn, so we added some chicken broth. I will use that for the soup or something. No big deal. And then the last spot is... Oh, my sister just got me these as a Thanksgiving present. I didn't know we were exchanging gifts, but she just decided... She got these for me a while ago. They're the Pop Pez. And I do have these dolls as well. And I don't love Pez, but I love the Golden Girls. So this is really an awesome gift. Hello, ladies. And then there's a, the plates and silverware underneath there. And then these are my champagne glasses. And I'm going to put the champagne in. And that drink is just champagne, cranberry juice, and frozen cranberries. And we love it. So it's delicious. The cranberry juice is sweet, so it cuts the champagne a little bit since it's a little since it's dry. And yeah, right now I'm gonna go back to sleep because two hours I can we can check on the turkey two hours in two hours, which is nice. I just finished making this Thanksgiving turkey shaped cheese platter appetizer and it was really easy now these directions they say to start with this and then work outside but i would do it the opposite way it was kind of hard to get everything underneath but you just need the ritz crackers which i could just show you here ritz crackers cheddar cheese salami swiss cheese those are two chocolate chips for eyes and then oh you know what i forgot a piece of salami right here for like that red thing in the front of a turkey um 
but really easy and I think if, if you have children I think this would be a really fun thing for them to do and you could switch out the cheeses for something else or another type of meat but this is super super cute just finished setting the table there's only four of us for this Thanksgiving and that's perfectly fine with all of us we are very happy about it these are the flowers at my sister's job they let the employees take it home if nobody takes it by the end of the week they're so pretty perfect for thanksgiving and then check out this tablecloth isn't that the cutest i just i just love this tablecloth and we've had it forever and those are for the appetizers and yeah, just super simple, but I feel like it's kind of festive. And then I've had to fold the tablecloth. I didn't want my grandmother to trip on, or any of us actually. So I folded this side since no one's going to be sitting on this side. It is 3 o'clock right now, and here is how the turkey looks. She looks so pretty. Not ready yet. We just checked the temperature. It's like reading 138-ish. Day. Okay, we're taking out the turkey to check her out. I don't know why I assume it's a lady. It is a lady. It's a bird. <sighs> How did, what's the male turkey called? Yeah, you males are turkeys. You regular. Okay, turkeys. sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> Can you close the oven? You guys haven't seen Ava in this video yet. Ava, you ready for turkey? Shake your tail again. Of course. Every you time. Turkey? Ava, you want turkey? turkey? Ava, turkey? Ava, turkey? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ava. Oh, there it goes. You want turkey? You want turkey? Okay. Well, that was something. See the oven temperature went up. That oh. means it's it reached the temperature, just because we had the door open. This ball is supposed to move by itself, but she oh look at that Ava, gift from her aunt. Here is the turkey platter appetizer, and then these are the apple and brie bites. They look good too. So this is the cocktail. This is cranberries and champagne and cranberry juice and there's also apple cider and ginger ale okay not that i have time to film this but i'm getting i'm just putting a little bit of face makeup on nothing too crazy just because um i'm sweating and my cheeks are so red but i'm going to just put a little bit of this is the covergirl on all a and then i'm just gonna i put that under my eyes and that's basically a little bit of everywhere because I want to take a family picture and I don't want to look like a hot mess that I'm feeling and it was a really bad decision not to put on deodorant okay so I'm gonna finish this and then I gotta go out there and just heat everything up and we're almost ready to eat we're about 45 minutes behind but that's kind of the way it goes right the perfect plate happy friday it is november 29th the day after thanksgiving black friday for those of you that are shopping you are brave um so it's the day after thanksgiving and i am having a turkey sandwich so this is like my favorite part of thanksgiving the day after and we actually had sandwiches last night that were so good so i add turkey cranberry sauce mashed potatoes with a little gravy and stuffing and call it a day i'm having half sandwich and drinking this red jacket apple cider from whole foods look at that the only ingredients is apples and it is very good it tastes so sweet but they didn't add any sugar or anything like that it's just delicious highly recommend and they have different they use different types of apples too but i picked this one probably a bunch of apples altogether. 
Okay, so I am attempting to, sorry, the weird lighting. I'm attempting to put up my Christmas tree. We usually do it either the night of or the day after or the weekend after Thanksgiving. And I'm doing it myself because, I don't know, no one's around right now. So I'm going to attempt it. This part I find is the hardest. Putting up the ornaments is easy. But I think today... We might just put up the tree and then maybe decorate this weekend or something. I'm not sure, but I'll turn around. Uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you what our tree looks like disassembled. We got our tree last year and I'm trying to find what the name of it was. Well, it was from Target and I'm not sure if that will help anybody, but oh yeah, there you go. And it's really a nice tree so this is the bottom part and it looks real to me anyway i mean it's a fake tree uh, it has lights and everything but it has kind of like these piney things and it's a thinner tree uh, because we have such a small space it's gonna go right over there i moved there's that's my mom's rocking chair that she had when she was little that she had uh uh re -upholst upholstered a long time ago and it was bent goes there but we'll find a new place for it and I already started putting little stuff here and there and our stockings are over here and then this I got from the Dollar Tree and isn't that so cute they're gonna go outside and hopefully they'll work we didn't test them out which we should have but I'll put them outside and hopefully they will light up our walkway okay so I am about to plug in the tree hope it still works all right it's a little looking sparse I gotta um, move the branches a little bit better but it's a thin tree but it's I really like it I'm gonna there that's a better view all the lights look like they work perfect and we do have a timer and it just, it just looks so pretty. I was playing Christmas music. I was listening on repeat to uh, Sia's Puppies Are Forever. It's not a traditional Christmas song, but I love it. It's so cute. And I have the skirt that I'm going to put on it. Just a red and white one. I wanted to close out the vlog. It is the end of the night. I'm getting ready for bed. And... I did some Black Friday shopping. I got things from Groupon, Target, Backcountry, QVC, and most of those sites I used Ebates, which was amazing. And some of the places had like 12%, 10% cash back. So I saved a little money there and I think I found some good things. I'm going to wait for Cyber Monday to do a few more things. It was kind of frustrating because I was looking at an item from Target and it said that there was one left, but I couldn't check it out. So I'm not sure if somebody had it in their cart. I'm going to keep on, <laughs> I'm going to keep my tab. I'm going to keep a eye on it and hopefully it will get free. Um, and yeah, that's it. I had a really great week. Thursday, uh, Thanksgiving was amazing and you can't ask for better than that. It was, the food came out good. There was minimal like fighting you know family times so sometimes can be stressful and yeah I just it was a good week and we have the weekend left so I hope you guys uh, are having had a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate and I'll talk to you soon bye